I think this is probably one of my best finds ever. I think it's incredible, it's stunning, and all for the incredible price of $4.49. Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today, I'm somewhere very fun, very special. I'm in the home of none other than Leah Pripps. Hello. Welcome Round to my house. Ladies and gentlemen, for Leah. She's in my hometown. Welcome to Rockford, Illinois. I'm gonna be taking her to one of my favorite thrift stores. If you guys are on my channel at all, you guys know. I'm really excited, especially because we just went and visited her parents and both your parents and your sister were all like, that is the best thrift store. You guys gotta check that out. I have nothing in mind. I'm just seeing what the thrifting vibes are, where the intuition leads me. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go from there. So I'm buckle excited. up. Buscle up, baby. Subscribe if you're not already. Yes. Join the family. It's a great place to be. Again, go check out Leah's channel because she does Thank thrifting. You. She does home stuff. You guys are gonna get to see her 95% thrifted home. Yes. Tour very, very, very soon. soon. I've been plugging it for so long. I've been, it's gonna be good. As <laughs> someone who's now seen the sneak preview, oh, it's good. So make sure you subscribe to see the pieces she's found because they're incredible. Okay, that's the tea. So the thrift store we were originally gonna go to is already closed. So we're gonna save that for tomorrow. But we were about to go head to Goodwill and on our way there, Leah was like, we should stop by this other thrift store. It's called share stuff it says upscale thrift which sounds right up my alley so we're gonna head in there first what are you getting pretty so cute i love that color oh it's beautiful on you and it's an orange tag yes so this is half off. Should we boogie yogi yogi? Yeah, they turned up the music, so oh. I think we have to go. <laughs> we're gonna boogie yogi yogi. Bye guys, see you at the next thrift store. At $11, this is a bit of a pricier piece, so I'm gonna opt out, but I wanted to show you guys how cute this little cream colored cardigan is. It's got little buttons on the sleeve and along the neckline, and they're little flower beads. So long. Just came across potentially the dress, if you guys know what I'm talking about from a couple years ago, the debate between blue and black or white and gold. What did you see in the original picture? I think I saw, saw gold and white. Really? I saw blue and black yeah, only said, ever. Mm. Yeah, this is blue and black to me though. Totally. What color do you guys think this is? Yeah, let us know. Let's have some controversy below. Yeah, everybody's gonna be like black and blue, like obviously. Hold on, let me get some weird light. Yeah. <laughs> Back home now, the trip was so fun. And you guys, Midwest thrifting is always so, so good to me. But I gotta say, it was extra good. It did not disappoint this time. This haul is immaculate, it's incredible. And though I know I have said this in my last couple of hauls, I really gotta say that this is my best haul ever. I'm putting out all of the good thrifting energy back to back to back to back that it's amplifying and every time it just, it's yielding an even better haul every single time. I'm ready. Are you ready? I think it's time to be ready. Before we hop into the haul though, I have one thing I wanna ask you guys to do. So down in the description box, I will have a link to a survey. I have the opportunity to potentially host a trip. I think it would be so fun to go on a trip with you guys and travel and we take photos and we hang out and we just kick it for a couple days. 
in somewhere absolutely beautiful. We could go to Italy, we could go to Greece, we could go to Barcelona, Costa Rica. Or we can have themed dinners, like themed dinner parties. We can all wear matching outfits. I, I have so many ideas. Basically, the survey is taking like a consensus of what your ideal trip would be and then we kind of all workshop together this is currently just like a potential idea i want to see if you guys might be interested in doing this and something i'd want to do that if we did do the trip is i'd want to hold like a workshop on how to shoot photos by yourself when you're traveling how to shoot photos with your friend or your significant other whoever you're traveling with so if something like this even just marginally sounds interesting or fun head down to the description box and fill it out it takes like two minutes let me know what you think and yeah officially ready to jump into the haul first up we have this incredible pair of vintage denim jeans this was like the sisterhood of the traveling pants because i picked these up off the rack because i was like wow what a gorgeous wash they're probably not gonna be my size because I, time and time again, have had the worst luck with finding jeans at the thrift store. I'm always so envious, but so admiring of the people who just find jeans. Then I came across these high-waisted, perfect medium vintage wash, tapered and petite in my size i was elated should we do a skirt palooza next because i got skirts on skirts on skirts this is like the perfect little honestly this is kind of lorelei gilmore holy crap i didn't know this was only two dollars wait a second i just had a shocking revelation i bought this at goodwill it says six dollars and then right now i just noticed there was another tag tucked into the side from somewhere like an independent thrift store because it's just handwritten it was two dollars I see you goodwill i found this blue micro floral print knee length skirt which i don't think i really have any knee length skirts i don't know entirely how i feel about it what if i made it a mini skirt a cute little matching tube top i think i have enough fabric to do that tbd i'll have to measure everything out next i got this white little tennis athletic skirt it has a zipper on the side so you can show a little leg if you'd like this next piece was a piece leah convinced me to get it is a pink and orange kind of hawaiian breezy tropical print also kind of I think this is gonna be longer than knee length, but just past. The texture of the fabric is very crepey and adds like a lot of dimension. Last skirt that I picked up is this one right here. This to me really looks like bikini bottom come to life when you see like the background of SpongeBob. Moving on to dresses, I picked up this gorgeous silk lilac number. Very simple, it's beautiful. I do need to get this tailored to kind of hit more at my waist. It doesn't have too much shape in terms of internal structure. So I'm just gonna get it tailored to kind of cinch in a little bit. I cannot wait to wear this. This is for sure going out on my next date night. Oh wait, I missed the skirt. This one is probably the most exciting of all skirts. Well, it's actually a sarong. This gorgeous green tropical print sarong. And the reason that this is so exciting is because take a look at this slip dress that my mom passed down to me. That was hers in the 90s. It's the same print. I love this dress so much. My senior year, I wore the heck out of this. And also nobody told me about like wearing a slip underneath this because I didn't even think about the fact that this is on the sheer side. <laughs> One time I wore a bedazzled thong with it and someone was like, <laughs> I can see your underwear. Oh my gosh. And I was shook because I had never even thought about it. Why did I choose to wear a bedazzled thong with this like silky piece? Couldn't, couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell ya. But yeah, I found the collection sarong. Moving on to our next piece, we've got this dress that I love. It is so vibey, it's so groovy. There's like this gradient of green shades into white. We're gonna take a little break from clothes and we're gonna move on to some accessories. The first bag is this green woven little pouch, 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 pouch bag. It's a satchel, is it like the hangover? He's like, it's a satchel. Get a lot of compliments on this. Plus, it's not a man purse. It's called a satchel. Indiana Jones wears one. Perfect for summer. I was super stoked on that one because I have been loving green lately. It is one of my top favorite colors. You guys might also know that I have been loving the color orange. And I was very excited to find this bag as well. An orange woven bag with this really cute little macrame style strap. There's little beads in it. And this, this little thing that looks like an orange peppermint. This is nice because it has a zipper so things are nice and secure and safe. And also it's hard to get pickpocketed when you have a zipper at the top. So always thinking big brain moves. Last bag I picked up is yet another woven bag. This one is definitely more like neutral straw, uh, coastal grandma 
themed bag. So if it you close that center thing and then you close the snappy clasp, it goes into almost this puckered bucket bag. I'm amazed, I'm impressed. Wow, I like this bag even more. I actually have one more purse, but this one is not woven, but it is equally, if not maybe even more summery. I think this is probably one of my best finds ever. I think it's incredible, it's stunning, and all for the incredible price of $4.49. This incredible, gorgeous, stunning, fabulous little bag, just covered with the most beautiful little square shell cutouts in immaculate condition. The brand on this, because I know a lot of you guys will probably wanna know, is Shira Leah. Who donated this? I mean, shout out to you for donating this. I'm very excited about it. Thank you for your service. I also picked up a couple necklaces. This is necklace number one. I thought this would be fun to layer with. I don't have any, I don't really have any costume jewelry anymore. I really wanted a fun kind of statement necklace to try layering with. And then I also picked up this necklace right here and it's just this gold circle chain. It was in the necklace section for a dollar, but when I saw it, I immediately thought of using it as a belt because I thought the style was just so cool, so cute. We're going to move on to tops and outerwear. The first top I'm gonna show you guys is one of my favorite things of this whole haul. The colors are such a dream. I love the style of the 70s so much. I love the color palette, the silhouettes, the fits, the everything. And this color palette is so quintessentially 70s. When I tried it on in the dressing room, I actually scared somebody. I heard them audibly shriek. I think just cause I startled them so much, but I put it on and I gasped. Not just like, oh, it looks so good, but like, oh, like that. I had a moment for $4 at 50% off, bringing it down to $2. I was, and still am, at a loss for words. Next, I got this little button up. The funny thing with this is, I put it in my cart, and then I was going around the store, and then I re-met back up with Leah, who was also going around the store, and she was like, wait, I literally thrifted this a couple weeks ago myself, and I have the same one. Fun little find. As previously mentioned, I love my button-up tops. Got another one. I found this red and white striped one and it's just, it's nice and it's breezy and I'm excited to wear it. Another fun top that I picked up is this colorful plaid. I guess this is also a button up. Wow, I exclusively own button ups apparently. It looks like this. I think it's fun, it's funky. I also found this green knit rib tank top. It has a higher up square neckline, which I really like. We're winding down to our last three clothing pieces. This next piece is a real find. I love Disney. It's a little bit of a personality trait. I accept it, I love it, love Disney, love Disneyland. And I was absolutely elated to find this right on the end of the rack. I wasn't even gonna go through this rack because I was like, here in Rockford, it's 95 degrees today. I don't wanna look through sweaters. Just even the thought, Ugh. But you know how when you're at the thrift store, you kind of just casually will like palm a rack and just look at what the first item is. Just kind of aimlessly, I did that with the first item and I saw this white, sporty, athletic, almost collegiate style, Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt. I was so excited about this. I have never seen a Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt in this white shade. Besides it just being a fabulous find, the fact that this was only $5.50, shocked amazed. And I cannot wait to wear this on my next Disney trip. Penultimate denim piece. We've got this dark wash denim jacket with a leather collar. How rare is that? I feel like I never see that. I've seen, well, I have one with like a corduroy collar. Sometimes you'll see like a fleece, but I feel like a leather collar is uncommon at the thrift store. This is originally from the Marlboro. Marlboro. Mar Marlboro. What a very difficult to pronounce word. M-A-R-L. B-O-R-O. -O. Country store. Gear for the great wide open. We got this fabulous find right here. It's a very nice sturdy denim jacket and I can't wait to wear this on my next expedition out and about. Yeehaw y'all. Last denim piece, last clothing piece is another truly amazing, incredible find. And again, I know I've used so many over the top adjectives in this haul, but how could I not? We have got this pair of vintage Calvin Klein overalls that I found for nine dollars. I have wanted 
something like this for so so long i was just so excited and i cannot wait to wear this style this wear it with some like chunky sneakers or even i have these really cute um little sandals that have a black and white checkered pattern i think that would look really cute what a find what a true find and i don't even know which clothing piece to say is my favorite because i have so so many to end it off on like the most lovely note we're gonna we're gonna look at the art books that i picked up so i picked up three and each of these was basically three dollars each first up we got this one salvador dali love salvador dali i love the very far out there surrealism i actually have a oh you can't even see it i have a new addition to the filming background i have the melting clock and it's just like such a cool piece next time i'm gonna have to film standing up so you guys can see it right next to it i found this da vinci one and this is actually my dad's favorite style of painting my dad paints for funsies and then the last art book that i found i i love michelangelo and i found this michelangelo art book i was so excited about this and i think what made it even more special is because a couple months ago when i was in europe we went to the sistine chapel we went inside and we looked at the ceiling and it was absolutely stunning and it was just such a cool thing to see in person but that was michelangelo those are the art books i picked up that was the haul and Luna just came out. Perfect timing. When I film, Luna loves to come out and just meow a, meow a ton, which I'm shocked she's walking out. I think she's going to go grab a snack. I will take it. On that note, that was today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think this is my personal best. Favorite haul. Best haul. Love the pieces I picked up. I feel like there's such good vibes with all of the pieces. And I just want to know, like, what is your favorite piece or what are your favorite pieces? Let me know below. And if you guys have any video requests, let me know below also. Um, let's just have the comment section be a pop in place. Let's have a chat. If you've missed any of my last few videos, I will link a couple of my favorites down below. Definitely catch up on those. And if you have not seen my Europe vlog, please go check it out because that is one of my favorite videos I've ever done. It is a whole experience. It's almost an hour long. So definitely put it on when you're cleaning or when you're cooking or when you want something to unwind and just have fun energy from. You want some travel inspo, you enjoy vlogs, throw it on. I will be forever grateful if you go check it out. If you guys want to keep up with me on the day to day, see some more outfit inspo, hang with me, see some day in the life type of stuff. You guys can follow me on TikTok and on Instagram at Jessica Neistat. You want to say goodbye to the people? Say goodbye. You, know, you just want to lay on my lap. I hope you guys all have a fabulous rest of your day. I love you all so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Hello. Hello. Mm.